mean, I think you're, 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 you're gathering data that is really solid. What I want to sort of dive into now is, is this idea of, you know, this, this sort of early intervention and assessment. We do it for a lot of things. Cholesterol, we check cholesterol. Cholesterol is a risk factor for heart disease. It doesn't necessarily cause heart disease. There's other blood biomarkers. We tested function that are also very big risk factors like lipoprotein little a, which is genetic. So you can actually map a person's trajectory by knowing their biomarkers. We do the same thing for metabolic health. We can measure glucose or insulin or A1C and see the trajectory of it going up before they get diabetes. Yeah. So this is, this is a so there's a proxy for this in medicine. But with dementia, we don't really do that. And what's really remarkable about your work is that you're you're not just doing neurocognitive assessments. You're not just measuring normal things like omega-3 fats or vitamin D or blood sugar, or cholesterol, or blood pressure, which are all important and have to be managed if you're going to reduce risk. But you're you're finding that these particular blood biomarkers, these you're developing new tests that are from protein signatures expressed in people early, decades and decades before they even forget their keys for the first 